How to fetch JSON data from a server or from the assets phone storage. Simply create a list of users within the getUsers method we define some JSON data. So we have here a list of users and each single user has a username, an email and an image. Next, we convert this JSON data list to a list of users by calling the from JSON method on your user model class. So I have created a separate user class. Inside of it, we create this from JSON method that takes the JSON and converts it to a user object. So we access from the JSON data the username, the email, and also this image and place it inside of a user object. With this, we have converted this JSON data to a list of users. And finally, we want to display these users within the build method by creating a list view. Inside the list view, we access each user and create for each user a card with a title, the subtitle and also the leading image. And lastly, you can load this JSON data from a server or from your assets. Simply change the header by returning a future. And also here we have then a future type. Next, we load this JSON data then instead from a server using the HTTP package. So here this link contains then our JSON data. Alternatively, you can load this JSON data from your assets folder, whereas we place then this JSON inside of this JSON file. Also make sure to go to your pubspec YAML file and below the flutter tag at your assets folder. All right, once we have loaded this JSON data from our assets folder, or in this case from the server, then we also want to display this new users future in our UI. So around our build users method, we wrap a future builder. And finally, over the snapshot data, we can access the users once they are loaded from the server or from the assets folder. Also show a loading indicator while loading the data from the server and an error message if the loading failed.